a very good morning students uh, today's we are going to discuss a new topic that is dicyclomine hydrochloride synthesis or the synthesis of anticholinergic drugs so the synthesis of dicyclomine hydrochloride and the synthesis of second drug that is procyclidine hydrochloride these are the two drugs which are synthesized by the procedure so before this the synthesis of the both drugs we should know about the anticholinergic drugs so what is the anticholinergic drugs uh, the anticholinergic drugs are also known as parasympathetics or cholinergic blocking agents okay which are include atropine and related alkaloids obtained from the plant such as atropa belladonna isco plola carnolica datura and synthetic or semi synthetic atropine substitute okay these drugs in the therapeutic doses predominantly block the muscarinic action of acetylcholine but the ganglionic and skeletal neuromuscular actions of the acetylcholines are not affected okay cholinergic receptor blocking drugs or antagonist are divided into two muscarinic and nicotinic subgroups on the basis of their specific receptor affinities okay and the anti nicotinic drugs consist of ganglionic ganglion blockers and neuromuscular junction blockers so now come to the synthesis of dicyclomine hydrochloride which is the drug are uh, used uh, in the dysmenorrhea pyloroespasm and blairy disinfection actually first of all we should know about their uses and properties so dicyclomine is exist as a white crystalline powder with a bitter taste okay soluble in water and chloroform dicyclomine hydrochloric acid behaves both as an anti muscarinic and a non specific anti spasmodic agent it was first introduced in 1950 and had minimized the adverse effects associated with the atropine type of compounds dicyclomine has a spasmolytic effect on various smooth muscles spasm particularly those associated with the gastrointestinal tract actually it is also used in dysmenorrhea pyloroespasm and biliary dysfunction these are this is the property and uses of the dicyclomine and and dose dose of this drug by oral or by intramuscularly 10 to 20 mg per day in four divided dose okay understand so now come to the synthesis first of all for the synthesis of dicyclomine hydrochloride we have 1,5 dibromopentane this one whenever 1,5 dibromopentane is reacting of both products in the presence of some sodium compound theek hai then after the reaction of 1,5 dibromopentane is converting into a intermediate product whenever this intermediate product is reacting with alcoholic product okay in the presence of some trihydrooxide it makes an another intermediate product and this intermediate product is reacting with an another product uh, and make an different type of intermediate product and this intermediate product is reacting in the presence of some metals and make a last finally dicyclomine okay and the dicyclomine is a drug which is used as a anti cholinergic drug now come to the second one is procyclidine dihydro 
chloride so for the synthesis of procyclidine we are having the acetophenone and aldehyde formaldehyde acetophenone and formaldehyde are reacting with ease together in the presence of 2 3 4 5 tetra hydropyrrolidine these three products are reacting with ease together and make a beta pyrrolidino propiophenone this is a product that's called the intermediate product and the reaction is known as mannich condensation okay after the mannich condensation we we form a intermediate product and this intermediate product is on the hydrolysis and addition reaction uh, makes an procyclidine hydrochloride product and this product is used in the treatment of parkinson's disease okay and to relieve voluntary muscle muscle spasticity through its central action this is the action of the drug this is the synthesis of anticholinergic drugs thank you